Hey guys, how's it going? It's day one of Southeast Game Exchange. We're here at the booth on Ace Hour stuff. Carol? Carol, right? Yep. Got me a switch case. And uh, yeah. Two already meeting people, already sold a couple of shirts, met Linda, met Jayla, met Russ Lyman, uh, getting recorded right here. Hi. Hi. Say hi to the vlog. How are you guys? We're doing pretty good. I'm excited. Con just opened, so we're going to make money right now. <laughs> Say hi. I'm getting recorded, and she's being recorded. You're, she's your professional photographer now. Things are packing a little bit. People are filing in. Greenville is a smaller city, so you're not going to see as many people as like a Dallas or a Phoenix or whatever. But you know what? People are filing in. I've already sold like three shirts in less than 20 minutes. Check it out. This is some of the stuff. It's right here. I'm meeting uh, brand new people I've never met before. And uh, yeah, looks like it's shaping up to be a great weekend. Got Animal Crossing Amiibo. Our YouTube channel, over from, uh, a thousand subscribers. What's your, what's your channel again? I other met yellow hat guy. Yeah, the other yellow hat guy. Yeah, there we go. Check him out. Met him a couple years ago, actually, at different stops and stuff, different conventions. So, yeah. yeah YouTube.com slash Captain Sensation. Animal Crossing Amiibo. And, you know, the lighting in here needs a little bit of work. It's kind of dark. <laughs> makes people look like they have muscles. The camera makes me look big. Yeah, I mean, they say a uh, camera would add 10 pounds. That's 10 pounds. Add 10 pounds. We got imports, we got some whiskey flask, we got Super Nintendo, we got some controllers, we got a little bit of Dreamcast, a little Little family computer, Japanese video game bag. Not wrong. Not wrong. Are you wrong? I'm never wrong. Yeah, right. We got. Just walking some of the vendor floor here, guys. So we got a little bit. So it's just like the little, the little first corner over here. We're, we're, we're down there. First corner's right here. We got a little Star Wars 501 Legion. We got some tables. Entrance of the con is that way. And then over here, every table rows, the table goes down that way. So there's actually a pretty big, pretty big turnout for this con. They said that this is easily over double of last year's attendance. Uh, it's a brand new venue, uh, so definitely grew, so good job. Zigzag. We're walking the floor a little bit. We got big old Pikachu, got a little bit of everything around here. It's actually really packed in, in this aisle. Look. Definitely got a good assortment of toys, collectibles. Look, I got one of those. Not bad, not bad. Uh, we got Fox Odyssey 2, we got Genesis, we got Lunch Boxes, we got Street Sharks, we got Super Soakers. Well, we got. Got him, need him, got him, got him, need him, got him, need him, got him, got him, need him, got him, got him, need him, got him, got him, need him, need him, got him. I just saw something that I used to have as a kid and I just remembered it I used to have this little chair thing and this is what I used to sit on while I played NES in my room yeah. as a kid yeah I used to have one of these holy crap I forgot like it was one of those things where you forget about it 
and then you see it just like that little cart that wooden cart yes i had that as a kid and i had a fucking trash can a nintendo trash can and i had the toy cart the wooden the wooden cart so in other words you were spoiled fucking brat i mean technically not because as soon as my parents thought i was like you know those things were old they got rid of them they sold them i didn't see money for it essentially my parents just said you know what we're getting rid of your cool little chair well you know fuck them sometimes you stole uh, my shit fuck you mom fuck you dad <laughs> you stole my shit it's fucked up no, i'm just kidding at some point you got to get into the man game that's all i'm saying yeah yeah says the guy that will fucking buy fucking like rainbow bright fucking thing that's all cool and shit I'm not wrong. You're not wrong. I saved it because I did Game Boy. It's the only video game show I did. Right. Because then I just accumulated my nice. stuff for this thing. Yeah, it's interesting. It's cool. Hey guys, if you're ever in South Carolina and you're looking for a great video game store to go to, that was just on the news. Yes. Just on the news, you go to the video game cavern. Here's Robin, the owner. This gentleman, what's your name? Matt, you go to their store. And look, they're right here up at the front of the convention. So how have yes. things been going? You've seen us on an episode before. Once or twice. Yeah, once or twice. Here we go, Taylor, South Carolina. There's the info. 10% off this week if you take that flyer. 10% off. I like it. Hi, how's it going? Just browsing. How are y'all? I'm a Pokemon trainer. Oh yeah? Nice. I had it when I was a kid. It's a board game? Yeah. <laughs> it was complete, so... Not bad, and not they're, bad. They're also getting really rare now. They're actually going for about 100 bucks. Oh wow. Yeah, somewhere between 70 and 100. Nice. Good job. Yeah, definitely doing so. Google that. <laughs> 91. What? 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 That was the one thing you wanted all weekend? No, that was the one thing I wanted to get rid of all weekend. What? My uh, uh, modded tur turbo graphics. Oh, okay. Yeah, you yeah, traded? Yeah. I traded the cash and the thimble wheel. Oh, yeah? yeah? Nice. Bottle real quick. What? So, con's over. Everybody's gone around. Here's Linda, gamer girl, J Love over there. Where, where the hell do you think you're going? J Love, get back in this vlog. What's up, guys? So, J, come here. Get over here. He's just asking everybody to see you. You know the who these two are, right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's J Love. The and Linda. People are too cool to hang out last night. Not wrong. That's who they are. <laughs> I'm down tonight. <laughs> Good morning. It is day two, and it's actually pretty, pretty busy for a, a day two. In this convention, I'm actually really impressed with that. Hey, there's a Han Solo right here. Hey, Jay. We're at a booth looking for some games. Hi. Um, sticking through, you know. Seeing what we got. Get the deals or get got. <laughs> not wrong. Not wrong at all. I ain't wrong. You're not wrong. It's a random, like, little we'll get together in the panel thing. Everybody just took a group picture. We're all just kind of kicking it. So, you know, just kind of kicking it. So it's Sunday, so it's kind of laid back. Hi. Uh, so some of the panelists and guests here, we're just uh, mingling. I'm about to go explore the floor, though. Have some coffee. They're doing a game challenge. They're plugging an NES Classic in, and then they, I had to punk them out and say, hey, you can't put an HDMI device and an old TV. So now, 
and he has confidence hey, in Jay. Don't front because you were sitting oh, there yeah? for 10 minutes yeah? watching us do it. I was letting you And was, it, wouldn't, uh, it wasn't until NES Complex threw you the HDMI I was, cord. Uh, I was letting you guys learn. I was letting, I was, I was letting you guys realize... And yeah. I, I wasn't gonna like criticize you guys. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm front, but I did point it out. <laughs> you did. You did point it out. All right. So here's the humble arcade. We got Galaga, Pac-Man. We got some Donkey Kongs. We got Mario Brothers Pinball. We got a little handful of games. We got the play area. It's Sunday, so crowd is usually lower. But I'm exploring. We got some classics. We'll comment all that. So arcade's always nice, you know, nice little addition. But the one thing that I think is pretty legit is the Monsters pinball machine. Look at that. So we have a panel coming up pretty soon, about three o'clock. I'm gonna walk the floor a little bit, see if I can run into anybody and say hi, get some deals, maybe some free stuff. Not just kidding. Anyways, check it out. I'm gonna stop by the video game cavern booth and talk to Robin. And uh, yeah, so we got all sorts of stuff. Look, look, they got some good selections of box, like little mini arcades, things like that. So conventions, yeah, sure, you're gonna be paying a little bit of a premium on price, but you know, you'll find stuff that you want. It's a lot easier to me than uh, just uh, kind of game hunting and, and running with no, not, like finding nothing. They have their booth. Oh boy. I'm trying to find the limited run games booth, but I think they packed up early. Um, but <laughs> maybe that's a good thing because I was uh, worried about spending $200 again on their games. All right, guys, we had a long road trip back. This was a fun convention weekend. I'm finally home. I hope you guys enjoyed my quick little vlog and stuff. I had a great time. Special thanks to everybody at Southeast Game Exchange for coming to the booth, coming to my panel, everybody that uh, just kind of talked to me, met with me, took pictures or whatever. I would not be here without you guys. And special thanks to Austin for bringing me out to uh, Southeast Game Exchange. I will see you guys next year, hopefully. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace out.